Valentine lived in the 3rd century, an era when the Roman government was heavily persecuting Christians. Valentine was a bishop in the church during a time when many were persecuted and arrested for their faith. It is here where we find a possible historical connection with Valentine and the notion of courtly love. The Roman army was a vital tool for the state to persecute Christians, and service in the army was compulsory for young men. Valentine had a clever way of preventing young Christian men from being forced to serve in an army that was persecuting the faithful. Military service was only compulsory for unmarried men, as Rome considered family men less willing to die in battle, and thereby worse soldiers. To keep young men free of Rome's persecuting machinations, Valentine would marry young Christian couples, and this would keep the young men out of compulsory service in the Roman army. With all of this being noted, there is still much more to Valentine's life. At some point in his life, Valentine was arrested for professing the gospel of Jesus Christ and placed under house arrest in the home of a Roman judge. While living in the judge's home, he became aware of the fact that the judge's daughter was blind. After some time, the judge approached Valentine on the matter. Although the judge was a pagan, he told Valentine that if he could heal his daughter, then the judge would do whatever he requested. Valentine prayed and placed his hands on the judge's daughter, and she was healed. Then Valentine presented his request, that the judge and his household convert to Christianity. The judge broke all of the pagan idols in his home, lasted for three days, and was baptized. Moreover, all of his family and household, including the servants, were baptized. This amounted to about 44 people. The newly converted judge also released all of his prisoners that were jailed for their Christian faith. Valentine would carry on his ministry, always refusing to recant his faith in spite of Rome's governmental and cultural demands. He was eventually arrested for his faith again, and this time decapitated, making him a martyr. The year of his death is disputed, but it occurred on February 14th, sometime during the 13th.